Hi, I'm Steve Owens and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. As part of my January Australian special, I'll be doing food to do with Australia and I'm not going to leave out the Mac Oz. McDonald have actually brought back the Mac Oz for January for the Australia Day celebrations. So a lot of you around the world will wonder what the hell is a Mac Oz? Well, I'm going to show you. Come over here. Now, why would you even want to make a Mac Oz at home? Well, mainly because you know what's going in your burger. I've got a good quality lean beef here, locally sourced, and I'm just going to add a little seasoning, some salt, a couple of twists of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Now, this is a pound of beef, so it'll make four quarter pounders, and I'm just gonna get my hands in and really mix this together, just to evenly distribute the seasoning throughout the beef. So now I've divided the beef up into four quarter pounds. Now I don't know if they use quarter pounders in the Mac Oz, but I really prefer a little bit extra beef. Uh, so we can take one of those. Now a simple way to make these into a burger is just to put them between two sheets of baking paper and you can just sort of press them down and then lift it off again and just shape each of the burgers. So we end up with a quarter pound patty. Or you can do what I do, which is to cheat and have your, your own little burger press. And these are great little things. You don't actually need them unless you make a lot of burgers. We put a little bit of round grease poof on the top, pop that on there, give it a push, and out pops a perfectly round quarter pounder patty. And I'm gonna put those into the freezer just to chill them down a little bit before we cook them. So they're all made into the freezer. Now, if any of you want to know where to get one of those beef burger patty makers, they're very easy to get on eBay and they're very inexpensive. So I'm gonna cook these burgers on a griddle. You can use a frying pan or the barbecue, of course, but I'm doing them indoors today. So now I've got a piping hot griddle here with a little bit of oil on there and I can put my burgers straight on. Of course, you can do this in a frying pan or out on the barbecue, which would be ideal. Pop your burgers on. Take the paper off. Now you just want to leave those settling on there. I hope you can hear that hissing and sizzling away until you start to see the color of the uh, meat change on the side as it cooks up through the burger. Now I know in some McDonald's they don't grill the onions, but I'm taking a ring of onions here and I'm just gonna pop them on next to the burgers because I like my onions grilled. So we don't wanna be tempted to turn these burgers until we start to see, I'll just show you on this side, the cooking coming up the side of the burger. You can see there the cooked meats come over the halfway mark. I'm happy now. Flip those over. And at this point, I'm gonna pop my buns on as well. So I can toast my buns on the griddle just before I start to serve them. I'm just gonna turn the onions another time over. Now a Mac Oz also has some tasty cheese on there. I've got a couple of slices of tasty cheese. I'm just gonna pop it on top of the burger and just let it melt. So there you have it, I've grilled my bun there. I'm gonna pop my quarter pounder burger and cheese. It's melted beautifully over the top. Now what makes this a Mac Oz is I'm gonna put a few slices, three slices, probably more than I should, of beetroot. Gonna take a, a, a few slices of tomato as well. A Couple of slices will be just fine. Some lettuce and that beautiful grilled soft onion all caramelized on top. Some Heinz tomato ketchup, put a bit of that on top as well. And it has mustard as well. I love mustard, so I'm gonna put a spicy blob of mustard on the top. We take our toasted sesame seed bun top on there, give it a good push down. Let's pop the Aussie flag right in the center there. And there you have it, guys. There is my Mac Oz, and I know exactly what's gone into it. It's going to taste absolutely delicious. Shall I give it a bite now? Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is so delicious. It never fails to impress me when you make something like this at home. The bread is fresh, the meat, the beef there is absolutely delicious. That is a burger. Now, you really should try this. If you're a McDonald's fan, you've got to try this one. Even if you don't like beetroot, I really urge you to. You can't really taste it in there. It's a sort of underlying flavor. It's delicious. Guys, share the love, give this one the thumbs up. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. We are going to be doing more Australian recipes all through January. 
I really hope you'll have a chance to uh, join me on some of these recipes and comment down below. I'll leave a couple of links to some other videos up here, maybe even some of the Aussie ones if I've got them up there by now. Subscribe to the channel, stay in touch, comments down below, give us the thumbs up, take care, I'll see you next time.